um, I was suicidal at times. And my theory is always, I'd rather be overcautious than not. Until I finally started taking medication and I started feeling better. And if we just go back and you do so much excellent work with this, I think like you're saying, if it can impact even one life, of course, when you spoke about it publicly, before that you had to speak about it privately because we all acknowledge it and you reach out to somebody, you know, a friend, whoever, to talk about it. Uh, and I think that's the first step that people find very difficult to make. So if you can just talk to people about that, did you face any resistance? Did you face acceptance? What happens in that first step? So I give all the credit to my mother for recognizing the signs and symptoms. Um, because it just happened out of the blue. I was on a career high, everything was going well. So there was no reason uh, or no apparent reason why I should have felt the way I was feeling. But I would break down, um, you know, for no reason. I would feel, the day. there were days when I just didn't want to wake up. I would just sleep because sleep for me was an escape. Um, I was suicidal at times and so, Having to deal with all of that and you know when my parents live in Bangalore and every time they sort of visited me Even now when they visit me I always put on a brave front like everything is okay and you know You always want to show your parents that you're fine, you know um, And so I was doing one of those things of like I'm fine until you know they were leaving one day they were going back to Bangalore and uh, My I, I broke down and my mother asked me the usual hygiene questions like is it a boyfriend? Is it someone at work? Has something happened? And I just didn't have answers. It was none of these things. Uh, and it just came from a really empty, hollow place. Um, and she knew instantly. And I think that for me was God sent. Um, and I really hope, and I think that's one of the reasons why I set up the foundation for us to be able to create that awareness to be sensitive to the people around us, to look around us. If someone's feeling low, don't just pat them on the back and say, hey, you know what, it's gonna be okay, or, you know, hey, you'll be fine. Or just listen to this music or play some upbeat music and think that everything's gonna be okay. If you feel, and this is for everyone in this room, if you feel for a prolonged period of time, which is more than three weeks, if you feel a feeling of low or sadness, um, it is recommended that you see a psychiatrist or at least see a counselor. And my theory is always, I'd rather be overcautious than not. Um, you know, it's the same way when you have, you know, when you have a stomach bug or, you know, you go and see a general practitioner. You can also go and see a general practitioner. That's one of the things that we do. We're capacity building for our country because we do not have enough mental health professionals to serve the 1.3, 1.4 billion people. So one of the things that we do is, is capacity building by educating general practitioners. So I'd say don't ignore the signs and symptoms. Don't ignore when someone's telling you they're feeling low or not feeling okay. Um, don't sort of brush it off by saying it's just a one-off. Um, so coming back to this, yes, it, it's my mother who recognized that I needed help. I spoke to a counselor who I knew. Um, again, I was fortunate to have known someone within our family circle. Um, and from my voice, she could tell that I was, that I needed uh, professional help. And then the journey went on. I, you know, I was put on to a psychiatrist, medication, that sort of went back and forth for many months. I was resistant to that because there was so much stigma attached, A, to mental illness, B, to, you know, you always have these sort of ideas that you don't want to take medication to do with the mind and with the brain and you're going to lose control and so that went on for a couple of months um, until I finally started taking medication and I started feeling better and and, and, and so on so it, it and yes it was my the immediate people around me knew um, but at that point I wasn't ready to tell very many people it's after I recovered after many many months uh, when, I, when I was sitting back and just thinking about this experience that I'd been through, um, that I felt like I wanted to share my journey with the world.